I'm going to record it and I'll throw it in a folder. Okay, so here is uh, Jurassic Park with an inappropriate uh, theme song in the background, just so I can illustrate how to do ducking. So I've taken this, and you can hear Owl City in the background. Doesn't really make sense with Jurassic Park, but I just want to illustrate how to do ducking. So down at the bottom here, this is the Owl City soundtrack. Up here we've got um, Jurassic Park and there's some talking in here and some sounds and we want to make sure we can hear them. So we want to duck the main music and then bring it back up when the talking's done. So maybe maybe I'll do it here because it's a little more obvious that there's talking here. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to drop uh, the playhead where I want to start ducking the music. So maybe I'll start ducking it here for the stomping sounds of the dinosaur. And I'm going to hit... Uh, so I'm just going to drop the playhead there. I'm going to go up to this box up here. This this uh, thing gives me all the settings for stuff. Uh, I'm going to click on the audio. And right here is my volume. So I can turn up the whole volume up and down. You can see the waveform. See it when it hits yellow and red? That's when it's the levels are topping out. Remember I was talking about that before. When it says zero decibels, that is um, not amplified over its original. Negative decibels means it's turned down, and positive means it's turned up. Make sense? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put some anchors, or what are they called? Keyframes. We're going to add some keyframes here um, to our audio so that we can turn it down and then back up. So I'm going to I'm going to go just before. I want to turn it down and I'm going to add a keyframe and check it out. There's a little diamond that's going to jump up on my soundtrack. Did you see that happen there? And then I'm going to say, okay, well, I am I want to turn the music back up here for some reason. I probably wouldn't in real life, but uh, and I'm going to push a diamond there. We're going to turn down this whole section in between. So what I need is another set of keyframes, just a little close to, but not exactly on the uh, originals. I'm just zooming in a touch here because, okay, and then I'll add another one. So I have four keyframes. Do you see them there? And then all I need to do is drag this bottom line down and you can see it lets me independently turn down that part of the, of the music. So let's check it out now. So now it might still be too loud, but let's see. So I'll go here, we'll hear some loud Owl City followed by ducking sound, and then we should be able to better hear whatever it's going on in that part of the movie, but maybe not, let's find out. All right, there's our Owl City, and then it should get quiet. Now it's not quiet enough, because I can't actually hear what's going on. So then I just go back and I take this line and I turn it down farther. Let's try that. So you can see the waveform physically getting smaller there, right? If I wanted to turn, make this volume fade quicker, I just need these two diamonds to be closer together. Does that make sense? You can see it creates a slope or an arch or whatever, or a curve, what do you want to call it? And the, the steeper that curve is there, the more quickly the volume turns down. So let's hear it now. So we can hear the sound now. We can still hear Owl City in the background. But now we can hear the stomping. Does that make sense? So that's how you do ducking. And this wasn't a wonderful example because it's actually not dialogue. It's stomping. But you get the idea. And get the door. All right.